All right, so in today's video, we're going to be installing an outlet in a crawl space. It's going to be a 20 amp, uh, 120 volt circuit down in the crawl space. And as you can see here, this is the electrical panel. Um, because it is a sump pump, I'm going to put it on its own circuit. And because the outlet is in the crawl space, which is below there, it should be a GFCI. However, I'm probably going to make it so that the GFCI will be in the breaker and not on the outlet in the crawl space because if it does trip, you'd have to crawl through a bunch of cobwebs and stuff to get to it, which would be a pain and you wouldn't know your sump pump isn't working. Um, and that's really the only reason it's gonna be there is for the sump pump. So today we're gonna be installing a new breaker for a dedicated circuit, 20 amps. It'll be a GFCI breaker, which is expensive. And then I'm gonna run a cable hopefully down through here and down into the crawl space. Basically what I did here is cut this panel out because I'm gonna need access to get a drill in here to drill down into the crawl space. And then also gonna need access into the bottom of this panel here. Uh, it's gonna be a little tricky because these are the big, those are the power lines coming in from the street. So we don't want to be anywhere near those because those are always hot. All right, so I took these two pieces out pretty carefully so that I can try to reuse them. You can obviously cut new pieces, but it's a lot easier and it saves a lot of time to just put these pieces right back in. I accidentally broke it right here, but it should be okay. I'll just sand down these edges a little bit before I put them back in. Okay, just went to the store and got a much longer drill bit. Uh, the drill bits I had were not cutting it. So I got this long one, this one's like 3 16ths for the pilot hole. And then try a couple of these for boring the actual hole. 7 16ths and a half inch, somewhere in there. Unfortunately, this uh, sill plate is sitting on top of the foundation, which I should have figured it was. Um, so it's hitting concrete right beneath that sill plate. So what I'm going to have to do is cut open. I measured two or three, well, there's basically two studs, and come over into this little sidewall here where it should be out and over the concrete foundation as long as I can get through here without hitting a stud but I think I'll be able to. Uh, so next up I'm going to try opening this and see if I can get through to the crawl space from there. Alright let's go ahead and try this again. Okay, I finally think I found a spot where I didn't hit anything on the other side. First one I drilled right there, I hit something. Dulled the bit quite a bit. Maybe concrete again? You can see there's the pilot hole. So I'm gonna have uh, Ashley up top drill the hole. <coughs> and then go ahead and wire everything while I'm down here. And then wire everything up top so I don't have to keep coming back down here because it's, kind of it's kind of a trek of a crawl to get over to this part. The door in the crawl space is as far away as possible from here, of course. Murphy's Law. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to go ahead and pass the cable through the hole. Okay, so now I just got what I think is enough cable to make the run over to the sump. Um, so next up I'm going to install the outlet and then get the water over there. There's the sump going right now. And then I went ahead and did the electrical box. I'm gonna do it right next to the pipe so that I can just wire, eventually have the wire coming out of a hole and I'll just zip tie it to the pipe to keep it up and out of the mud or off the ground and plug it in right there. And there you go, you can hear it. There it goes. It's been going about every five minutes lately down here. So 
So next I'm going to bring the uh, Romex over from the hole into the box and then we'll wire up the outlet. Okay, I've got uh, my 12-2 Romex, so it's got a neutral, a hot, and a ground, and it's 12 gauge for a 20 amp circuit. Coming into the box, right there, so I'll kind of pull that about right there, give myself plenty of slack to work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and get uh, staples on this about every, oh, uh, I think it's 18 inches is code. Or somewhere in there, 16 inches. Um, stapled up to back to the hole where it's coming down. And I'll do that first and then I'll get the outlet on. All right, so now I've got the cable installed back to the hole, roughly over 18 inches, and to the box. Okay, so now it's time to wire the outlet. Um, again, I'm gonna be just putting a regular three part three prong outlet here and the reason for that is going to I'm going to have grounding upstream I'm either going to do a ground a GFCI outlet ahead of this one upstairs where it's accessible in case it trips or I'm going to do a GFCI breaker instead of putting a GFCI outlet down here where of course this is a moist space but as long as it's GFCI protected my understanding of the code is that that should be okay I also just do not want to have to crawl down here to reset a tripped outlet. Okay, so there it is. Got the outlet ready to be plugged in for the sump. So now I'm going to go back upstairs and finish wiring the Romex into the panel. Okay, so I got the one from the crawl space coming into the box and this one, here I just put in, whenever you're working on the electrical panel, obviously you want to turn off the main breaker. Of course, when you turn this off, those two lugs, this one and this one, are still hot. So these wires coming into the house, these cables are still hot. So you still have to be very careful even with the breaker off. Do it at your own risk or hire an electrician. Obligatory warning. Um, so I put the breaker in, you can see the hot is going in there, that's the black. I did not wire this panel, it's kind of a mess, it came with this house. Um, and then there's the black, the ground is on the ground bar, they've kind of got the ground and the neutral bar mixed. But each bus should be one for neutral, this one's mostly neutral, this one's mostly ground. So that's where those go. So I've got my white. Neutral wire going over here, and the bare copper ground wire is in there. I try to leave as much wire as possible in the panel so that you can rearrange things later on down the road. If you make things short and cut them just to length, it's going to be a lot harder to move things around later. So thinking about the future. And then they go through one of these panel uh, connectors through one of these knockouts. All I do is knock out one of these and then put that through. So I've got that. Uh, you're required to have a staple on here within, I think it's eight inches of the panel. And then I've got the cable coming through here. Try never to have any sharp bends, so do nice arcing bends coming through. And I always like to leave just a little bit of extra flex in the cable so that it's not really tight. So it can move a little bit, or you can pull through extra cable later if you need to. And got it wired in here to the outlet. And that goes down to the sump pump down below. So that's it. Next step is to put the drywall back on and button everything up.